Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zalke. And today I got something a little out of the ordinary for you. Have you ever wondered what would happen if the 1909 White Sox visited the 1982 Seattle Mariners? Well, I've thought about it plenty. So we're going to have that series. Starting with this game, this will be the first game of the series. That's it. I'm only going to play one game right now of the series. Um, let's see. Chicago, human manager, and then we're going to 82, American League, Seattle. And like I say, this will be uh, game one. We'll make this game sometime in May, the 6th. Uh, the manager's going to be computer. Day game, but it doesn't really matter because it's in the dome. So here is their lineup. And here is ours. They've got our starting pitcher as Olmstead, And theirs is Mike Moore. And I will go with that because... I know I want to definitely pitch Big Ed Walsh in this series, but I'm going to save him until game three so that he can either be the pitcher that gives us the only win that we have of the series or our third win of the series so that we sweep them or he gives us two out of three, which really are the only options anyway. But, um... You know, I want to make sure I get at least, I come away with at least one win. Um, I want to put that at 50, so yeah. All right, so let's go. We're at the Dome, uh, something Olmstead, maybe Frank Olmstead. It's Mike Moore. And there they are. There you go. That's a little better. And so we're going to lead off with Frank Isbell. And it looks like he's going to ground out. That brings up Parent. Of course, I don't know these guys' first name. I'm not that intimately familiar with the 1909 White Sox. And he's aboard, and he's a 90% stealer, so let's see if he can try to steal. And he made it. And now Patsy Doherty. Now, I know him. And more deals. And what do we got here? A home run? I doubt it. Not for a guy in 1909. Uh, fly out, but I got a 70% chance of advancing. I'm just going to hold him there because he's already in scoring position anyway. And then we got Altizer. And Altizer is going to, looks like probably, um, fly out. So we got no runs there in the first. And out comes Olmstead. He's pitching to Joe Simpson, the vaunted, very famous announcer for the Atlanta Braves, or he was. I don't know if he still is. Uh, Manny Castillo, possibly. And looks like he's going to double down the line. That's crazy. Homestead, what are you doing? All right, Bruce Bakhti. Everybody loved Bruce Bakhti, didn't they? Might have to make my all time Mariners. So he was out, and that brings up Richie Zisk. And he's dealt a strikeout. So we, now we got Pertel leading off for us in the second inning against Mike Moore, still out there, still dealing. And he got on, so let's see if he can steal. One problem we're going to have is our defense is going to be a lot worse. 
Oh man, they gunned him. All right, Doc White is up. I think I, I think that's who that is. And he got out. So let's see if he can steal. Now I got to double down because I have to try that. Make it fifty percent. I'm still going to try it. Ah. And now Atz is uh, an easy name to uh, pronounce. Oh, man, are you kidding me? We would have taken a lead if I hadn't tried to steal all those bases. All right, so he's aboard with Owens up. And he's going to knock him in, maybe. And he does. And now Ed Hahn is up. Ed Hahn rips it up the middle. Man, I would have had so many runs. I'm going to hold the runners. Fred Isbell. And is he going to get a board? He is. And that brings up Parent, who's already one for one off more. And that was a uh, pass ball, I think, or wild pitch or something. So now Parent's still up. And he is going to uh, yeah. But we did get two runs, and now Al Cowens leads off for them in the bottom of the second. But you can see what I mean. You know, Parent is a two e sixty five. Patel is a, what I don't know what that is. Forty six errors. We got something over here, 32 errors in e, uh, second base, 3E32. E so, Rick Sweet. Nice. We're dealing with Rick Sweet. Looks like he may be out. And that brings up, what is it? John Mailer, Jim Mailer. I don't know what his name is. And he's going to hit it. What is that? A double? Yep, a double, and now that brings up Senator Ted Cruz. I'm just kidding. I, think it's, I don't know who it is. Oh, wait a minute. Man. All right, they scored a run on that. That was a base hit. So that brings up Julio Cruz. Uh, we're going to throw for the runner. Might as well. And he made it. So now Julio down by the school, Todd Cruz, that's who it is. And he, he gets aboard, so now we're dealing to Joe Simpson, the uh, Braves announcer. And hopefully White catches that. Yeah. All right, so they did score a run. Now we have a 2-1 to one lead, and Patsy Daugherty is up. And he's going to rip it. Rip it! That brings up ball tizer, and I learned my lesson about trying to steal. Although he strikes out. Bertel is up. And he is going to maybe, I don't know. All right, so he's on board. That brings up Doc White. I probably should have tried to steal with Ed 85% with two outs, but. He's aboard, though, and Atz is up, and he was one for one with a double last time. He rips it up the middle. Patel might score on that, but he doesn't. So that brings up Owens. And he hits it up the middle for a single, and that is going to score at least one, and it does score two. And we take a four to one lead with Ed Hahn up against Mike Moore, who's still out there dealing. But he strikes out. So Manny Castillo is up with us. Um, I had four to one now. That's probably going to be a base hit. That would be my guess. And it is. So Bruce Bakhti is up at the plate with Castillo aboard. And he is going to, is he going to hit a home run? Yes, he did. 
So now it's 4-3. Richie Zisk is aboard. He's up the plate. I mean, he's not aboard yet. He might be. No, he's out. Al Collins up. So we only got one out here in the third. They already pushed to a cross. And now that brings up Rick Sweet. And he may be out. And he is. So we go to the top of the fourth. Now we're only... Oh, no, he's not out. He got on. Hello? 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 Mailer is up. And that looks like that'll be an out. So, Isbell is up at the plate. We are ahead, but only 4-3. Got to have some base runners again. He's out, and that brings up Parent. Parent's aboard, though, and we got Daugherty up after him. And he is going to hit into a possible double play, and it is. All right, so Todd Cruz is up the plate, bottom of the fourth. We're ahead 4-3, and Cruz is out. That brings up Julio down by the schoolyard, Cruz. And he is flying out. And that brings up Joe Simpson, Big Joe. Braves announcer Deluxe might be on board with this. No, he's out. All right, nice. So Altizer is up for us in the top of the fifth with us leading 4-3. And that is going to be safe. He's safe. I'm going to try to steal. We're not doing anything just sitting on bases. I'm still going to try it at 60. And he makes it. Nice. Now Pertel's up with no outs. And we had second. And what's that going to be? Double play? Are you kidding? All right. Doc White is up. And Doc White might be aboard. And he is. Which brings up Atz, who's two for two with a double. But looks like he'll be up. And he is. So that brings up Manny Castillo in the bottom of the fifth. The Mariners are losing 4-3. And he's on somehow. And that brings up Bhakti. I'm going to throw for him. And he made it. So now they got the tying run 180 feet away. And Bhakti is on. And now they got Richie Zisk up with no outs. And that looks like it's going to be hopefully a fly out. Okay, let's see what we got out in the pen. We got Sleepy Bill Burns out there. We may need him in the next game, though. Doc White but we really can't pitch him because he's playing. Uh, we got uh, Suter. Got this Suter guy. I'm going to bring him in. I've seen enough of uh, Olmstead. And he's going to deal to Collins. Which was a bad idea because it was a lefty on a righty. I'm going to throw for the lead runner, and we don't get him. So the Mariners have tied the game, and now they got Rick Sweet up. That's going to be a pop-out.
And that brings up Jim Mailer. Jim, John, Jack, I don't know. And uh, that's going to hopefully be an out. And he does make the catch. So it's 4-4 four, four as we go to the top of the sixth. With Owens up for us, who's 2-2 two two with three RBIs on the day. That's going to be hit up the middle, maybe. And it is. And with Ed Hahn up in an 80% stealer, I'm still going to let him just stay there and wait and see what Hahn can do. And Hahn might get a base hit out of this. Not in time. Oh, all right. So they did get the lead runner, and Isbell is up with one out. And Hahn up both. And is yes, he got it. He worked the walk, and then that brings up Parent. And now they do bring in Mike Stanton in relief of Mike Moore. And that loads the bases. So there's one out, bases juiced with Patsy Daugherty out. And I don't know what that's. Doing. And he throws home and nails him, so no run scored there. And that brings up ball ties. And that's going to be an out. So we're tied at four. We're going to the bottom of the sixth. Todd Cruz. And that's going to be a pop out, it looks like. That brings up Julio down by the schoolyard cruise. And he gets on by an error. Come on, we can't afford this. I'm going to try to throw for him. Oh, my God. Now they've got him 90 feet away. And another base hit by Simpson. So they take the lead. And now Manny Castillo's up. This team was not that good, I don't think. So I'm kind of surprised that they're kicking our ass. All right, they got the lead runner. So there's two down. Castillo aboard and Bakhti up. And uh, we're back up. It's going to be us here in the top of the seventh. But now we're losing. Five to four. Probably due to my managerial um, ineptitude for this particular game. Uh, Doc White is up with one down. He's two for two on the day. Might be a base hit, though. Nope. He made a great play on it. And adds who's two for three. And he's aboard. So that brings up the three for three Owens. He is four for four on the day, and maybe runners at the corners? Yes, and Ed Hahn up. And that's going to be what is got him. All right, seventh inning stretch. Richie Zisk going to lead it off for the Mariners here in the bottom of the seventh. That's one of that's no, he's not out. I can't believe these guys are getting on. All right. I mean, I just don't even know what to think anymore. That's probably going to be a double. And it is. And runners are now at second and third with Rick Sweet up. Oh, nobody scored. Nice. Jim Mailer up. He's going to pop out, so nobody else will score on that. Todd Cruz at the plate, one for three on the day. And that's hit at Pertel. And it's a nice play and scooped it out of the dirt, so they got out of the inning without scoring. We go to the top of the eighth, Isbell leading off our leadoff hitter, one for three on the day with a walk. Stanton's still out there, surprising. I mean, he's pitching well, but I didn't know he could pitch three innings. 
So we got Fred Perrin up, or whatever his name is, Frank, Fred. He's down, so that's two down, and it looks like we're looking at the ninth inning to try to tie or go ahead. Patsy Doherty up. He is aboard, though, so we'll see what Alzheimer can do. And he gets a walk, and now Stanton is tired. And that brings Patel up, and he's only one for four on the day. And that brings up Bill Caudill on the mound for the... And then, yeah, he's out. So, we got to hope for a shutdown inning here in the night, in the uh, bottom of the eighth. And then that we can go out and get a run or two in the ninth. Cruz is out, and that brings up Joe Simpson. Looks like he'll be out, and then that brings up Manny Castillo. It looks like he's going to double. Two for four with a double already. And that brings a Bhakti. Man on second for the Mariners, two down. Possible ground out here. And that is it. So we need at least a run because we're losing 5 4 with Doc White up. That's going to be maybe, uh, no, he's out. Atz is up. He's two for three with a double on the day. And he's out, and that brings up Owens, who's four for four, which is great, but then there's, you know, a clown parade after. And even he's going to be out. So that's uh, an unbelievable loss. Nothing! You lose! to the uh, to the um, Mariners now of course you know we did I didn't change the names of the team so they're called the pale hose and the sailors but the point of the matter is we should not have lost to that no matter what you call it. so there you can see the box score um, they were 11 for 36 and five RBIs. We were 14 for 37, but only three RBIs and four runs and lost 5-4. Homestead going four and a third and allowing three earned runs. Moore going five and a third and allowing three earned runs. And then Stanton and Caudill being perfect after him. So... That's where we are. That's game one. The Mariners take game one. Stay tuned to this channel, this YouTube channel, for game two at some point in the near future. But that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing.